on the occasion of our 25th anniversary, we are honoring three of the most wonderful people and best friends that the Institute could possibly have. Ron Chernow, best-selling author, distinguished historian and biographer, generous with his time and energy, the man who introduced us to Hamilton and made the whole Hamilton education program possible. Drew Faust, herself a distinguished historian, great friend of the Institute, long time on our scholarly advisory board, and then as president of Harvard, became one of the nation's educational leaders. Bob Niehaus, a very successful businessman, a very intelligent civic leader, a generous philanthropist, a longtime trustee of the Gilder Lehrman Institute, and one of our most generous supporters. We want to give you a look into some of our programs and let you meet some of the teachers and students we serve and share a sense of the mission that drives us forward. Since its founding in 1991 by Richard Gilder and Louis Lehrman, the Gilder Lehrman Collection has grown into one of the world's richest repositories of American history treasures. They helped me find things like pictures that you can't really find anywhere else on the internet. When I used the primary sources, it brought back history to life and it felt like I was there. And it was easy to find too, like I didn't have to search through the internet all day. I try to use primary sources that aren't just written by, you know, presidents of the United States and other people in power, but ordinary Americans who are experiencing change in society, either fighting for something or pushing against something else, to understand that history really is just a series of decisions and choices made by ordinary people just like them. All right, what do you guys think? Do you agree? He represents the idea of the people. The coolest thing of using a primary source is how you can see what the person is thinking about. You can see their culture and everything that they did represent themselves. So he's basically saying just because he's an immigrant, he's still yeah. Okay. That, that they shouldn't be trusted just because they're immigrants. They're going to become voting citizens in the next two years. And we have such a large immigrant population in the school as well, it's important for them to know the history of our country and the new country they now belong to. So this year I did a project on the Hoover Dam, government acts and photographs and secondary source articles. I used all those from Gilda Lehrman to better inform myself about the event. I made a documentary film on the history of cancer chemotherapy. I used GLI sources when I was talking about the historical context of cancer chemotherapy. I've used GLI source materials in a lot of the projects I've done in school. I like to know the sorts of thoughts and ideas that the people have and they give such vivid descriptions of what's going on in those moments, and I really appreciate that. I've made the most use of GLI materials in my AP US History class. I found them the most useful when writing um, research papers on different topics in history. We have a class in my school called Constructing America, and I really was able to utilize the GLI um, database for that specifically, where we would be doing different projects and accessing different primary sources. I really like their database of first and second hand documents. Um, I think that that makes my understanding of history more well-rounded. I would definitely like to thank GLI for being this amazing support system. I've used the collection a lot of times in my classes um, for primary source um, analysis. They provide more of an insight than our standard materials of using a textbook. GLI helped me be a better teacher by enforcing the strategies of teaching, but also helping me strengthen the content. The thing that most interests me about history and that most affects me is the impact that it has had on my life so far. Like, I wouldn't be here without history, you know, my, mo my mother's history, my family's history. Whether it's something you have to do or it's something that you could make part of a strong presentation at college, we want to help. GLI has helped me experience America. I came from my home country three years ago. 
it opened up my eyes to American history, it opened up my eyes to the society, and now I could probably say I'm an American. It really reminds you as an educator why you go into this profession. They've touched numerous students' lives over the years that they've been involved in our school, and I can't thank them enough for that. Thank you, Gilda Lerman. Thank you. If ideas are important, then those who hear them and pass them on are equally important. The revolution in teaching American history to students in high schools has not ended. It should never end. I've been an educator for more than 40 years. Gilder Lehrman's programs and projects would not be possible without the generous support of foundations and donors all across the country. To all of our supporters in the room tonight, thank you. We couldn't do what we do without your support, and we really hope you'll be with us as we move into the next stage of pursuing our mission to improve the teaching and learning of American history.